The police say that there have been three deadly crashes on Portland streets within a 24 hour time span. And now Chief Danielle Outlaw is addressing the spike in car related deaths. Today she tweeted that there have been six deadly crashes in just five days, adding that she is directing officers to increase enforcement. But she also pleaded with drivers to slow down, don't drink and drive, and put away any distractions. One of those victims in the past 24 hours, uh, an elderly woman, she was hit and killed in a crash last night. It was a hit and run crash in St. John's at North Fessenden Street and Polk Avenue. Police have not identified the victim, but the woman's daughter tells Fox 12 that her name was Sandra Bosch and she lived just steps away from where she died. And now let's get to Fox 12's Marja Martinez, who has that daughter's message tonight. Marja. Well, she tells me that her mother was kind and gentle and that she didn't deserve to die the way that she did. She was crossing this street when she was killed trying to pick these orange flowers. She just did things her way. That's all like the flower thing out in the middle of the night and all out at 10 o'clock at night picking flowers. Wanting daffodils to add to a bouquet, 82 year old Sandra Bosch crossed North Fessenden Street Wednesday night in front of her St. John's home. After plucking a few from her neighbor's garden, Bosch tried crossing back at the intersection of North Polk, but was hit by a car, according to her daughter, Vicki Cordier. She didn't deserve what she got. He hit her and left her. <laughs> or she, or whoever. Investigators say an off duty police officer found the 82 year old, tried to save her, but couldn't. She still had the flowers in her hand. This is when they first started to date. The family is still processing the loss. Vicki still hasn't told her stepdad, who suffers from Alzheimer's, that his wife was killed. He's going to be so lost without her. Vicki says they've lived on the same corner since 1978 and have seen many crashes and close calls. It's supposed to be 25 miles an hour here. They look like they're going 25. According to neighbor Cynthia Yolland, Peabot even dropped the speed limit recently after numerous complaints. There isn't a crosswalk till four blocks down there and there isn't a crosswalk that way at all. We don't trust the road already. Now we trust it even less. Vicki's message to drivers. Slow down. There's children and pets and people. And you're flying through here like it's the freeway. Vicki is also pleading with the person responsible for her mom's death to turn themselves in. Police believe that person actually left the scene here in a red sedan, last seen headed east after the crash. Live in St. John's, Marja Martinez, Fox 12, Oregon.